Hello everybody and welcome to this video, I am Grant and today I'm going to show you how to create a Minecraft scene inside of Autodesk Maya. Now the first thing you're going to want to get is Mineways and I will leave a link in the, des in the description for Mineways. It is totally free and amazing. So you're going to want to go File, Open World, and then I created an example world, so I'm just going to open that. And then you're going to want to uh, find an area that you want to have in your uh, animation or picture. So I'm just going to select this entire area. And this is going to come up. Just hit yes. It doesn't matter. And then do file. Export for rendering. And then just do... Uh, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to export it as a tutorial world. And it's going to give you all this fancy schmancy dialog box just click OK if it gives you this error just um, go file set terrain file and then where you have your terrain file for Minecraft this is good if you want to use a te texture pack so export for rendering save OK and it'll go to work then you're just gonna want to go back and then you're gonna want to go into Autodesk Maya now I'm using Autodesk Maya 2016 the student version and uh, Autod you can just go to Autodesk Maya, their website, and get a free version of 2016 if you're a student. So that's what I'll be using. Uh, click Import. Go to wherever you saved it. I saved it under Maya and Projects. And um, select the OBJ file. Alright, so now we're in our scene. And as you can see, there's no textures. Just click on this little checkered sphere up here and it'll bring up your textures. So if we click the render current frame button, you can see that it looks terrible. There's no alpha and all the textures are very blurry. So alpha basically means what's transparent and what's not. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to fix this problem on the grass. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to um, this little icon over here, I believe, and that'll open up Hypershade. And so you're going to want to navigate to the grass uh, texture. So let's find the grass texture. So find the grass texture. And then to uh, fix the transparency issue, go to the transparency icon down here and click on the little checkered box. Navigate to your file. And um, it's going to be in the exact same place where you save the OBJ. So it's going to create a bunch of uh, different PNGs. You're just going to click the one that says um, rbga.png. So do that, and then change the filter type to off. All right, make sure that you've clicked back on the, make sure that you click the um, the grass layer again, and then minimize your hypershade. You're going to need that later. All right, so then we have, um, then we have that the grass is. You can now see through it, but it is all fuzzy. Everything's fuzzy. And the, what, what, why that is, uh, is because Autodesk Maya is trying to make all the pixels smooth because it doesn't want things to be uh, blocky and very pixelated. But that's kind of the opposite of what we're going for uh, in Minecraft. So we're just going to go over here and click on uh, the, the second tab and turn it to off. And if you don't have that second tab, you're going to go, just go into Hypershade and click on your, um, your uh, texture. So I'm going to do the same thing for the dirt right here. Go back into Hypershade. Uh, maximize that. Go into Hypershade. Uh, I'm going to find the grass block. Ha, here we go. It doesn't need a texture, but all we have to do is just click on it. And then we go back in here, and it'll bring up that second tab again. And then change the filter type to off. And there we go. There's still a few things that are wrong, like the uh, the grass blocks. or Sorry, just the plain old dirt blocks. Um, don't have any uh, actual textures so I believe we're gonna go back into our hyper shader find just the regular um, dirt click on that change the filter type to off and there we have it so you're just gonna do the same thing for everything that needs uh, transparency so I'm just gonna do one more I'm gonna do it to the trees so we're going to go back into Hypershader, ah, oak leaves, here we go. And then we're going to go back into Maya, and then change the filter type to off. And also, since we need to add um, 
our transparency, we're going to click the little icon, go to file, navigate to wherever your old one was, click the RGBA file, and then um, you're good. All right, so then we have uh, all the oak leaves are gone. For everything else, I'm just going to delete the ones that I don't really want to work on. And there we go. So the next thing you're going to want to do is um, to make to just make your scene look really good is you're going to want to create a physical sky. And how you do that is you are going to go to your rendering uh, render settings and make sure that this is changed from Maya software to Mental Ray. If you're using Autodesk Maya 2016, you're going to have to install this plugin separately. And uh, Autodesk Maya, it's, it's on their website, so you just uh, you go in there and you download the plugin from uh, for Mental Ray. Then you're going to want to go to Scene, and then Physical, Sun, and Sky, and click Create. Now, the, instantly, we're going to get some beautiful um, shadows. You can't see them right here, but if I render the current frame, you're going to see what I mean. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you, you can see that coming up. It looks good. It looks good because it has the shadows going for it. And a physical sun and sky is basically the closest thing we have to a make it look cool button. I love those buttons so much. Alright. So I'm exporting at a relatively low quality right now just for the sake of previews. That's what I normally do. So if you want to just uh, actually export your video, make sure you're exporting it in a higher quality than 540p, which I think is the default. But, but as you see, there is um, some really good shadows going for us. Uh, in order for you to change the quality, you're going to go to quali sorry, common, scroll down to uh, your dimensions, and under presets, go to HD uh, 1080 or 720. 1080 is higher quality, but it takes longer to render. HD is 720, a little bit lower quality, but it uh, takes much less time to render out. You can also export 4K but I highly do not recommend it. It is extremely labor intensive. Only do that if you're doing like uh, stills, I believe. So, all right. There are still some blocks that I did not um, turn the quadratics to off. As you can see, the fuzziness in these trees is extremely annoying. And I am pretty sure there's no fast way to fix that, I've looked. But uh, yeah, so make sure you create your sun and sky. Make sure that you turn both the alpha channel and the texture channel uh, filters to off and that's pretty much all you have to do to make a cool looking scene I'm just gonna export this one right here and it'll take a little while but while it's rendering let me just say thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos it means a lot to me uh, leave a like if this helped you or uh, solved some of your problems in any way thank you so much for watching and have a nice day <laughs> that rhymed all right. Well, uh, I will leave a link to linked for this picture or a picture in the description, and um, hope to see you in the next video. Grant signing off.